Hello and welcome to the vlog. My time at this 48 hour mooring is almost at an end, but I was only ever going to stay here for 48 hours anyway, just long enough for Simon to do that work yesterday. That work was the supposedly quick and easy fitting of a pressure relief valve to the hot water system, but it ended up also needing a new bilge pump and even a new fresh water pump for reasons too long and boring to go into. So this morning I just need to throw some rubbish in the bins that are provided at the Canal and River Trust office, empty the cassette toilet, run a couple of quick errands and then I'll be on my way. Unfortunately the weather today is really quite overcast, it's certainly going to rain, I think I'm going to get a little bit rain spattered as I go. But the show must go on. It's been absolutely chucking it down for the first hour this morning, so I haven't been able to film anything because it really was far too damp. It has now stopped though. Uh, good progress being made, not many boats about, and hopefully onwards to the Hillmorton area of rugby by the end of play today, hopefully. While the rain eased, I got a chance to video the scenery, so here's a little travel montage. This fella didn't care a jot for the muddy towpath, he was just delighted to run around. For some reason this road appealed to me, where does it go, what's at the top of the hill? I'll never know. The banks here are nasty, sloping stonework that clangs against your boat's base plate if you try to moor, fenders do no good because the problem's well below the waterline. Fancy buying a mooring to escape this kind of issue? best have deep pockets I expect. This was a sad spot, a lovely old ambulance seemingly left to rot in a field. Unwanted classics like this always upset me, someone needs to love it. Other oddities on the trip included several fence poles gently floating along, there's a farmer's field somewhere where all the cows are making a run for it I'll wager. Here's my destination for today. Hill Morton, shortly before the locks. I'm moored near a pub and opposite a chandlery, which also stocks supplies like food basics, coal and diesel. And they have a washing machine for boaters to use, so after a week, a chance for me to get some clean pants. But whilst those behind me have concrete bank to moor against, only my stern can nestle into its comely charms, and as ever I'm just hoping the pins will stay in place overnight. On a corner, I'm awkwardly moored, with the front on those damned sloping rocks. It was slightly overcast, but the sun is now out, and I think it's going to be a lovely day. At the moment, I'm on the east side of Rugby, and the plan for today is simply to get over to the west side. That is going to involve going through three locks, no problem at all. There are volunteer lock keepers there, and I have my trusty windlass. I'm going to stop off, hopefully, very near a supermarket and just do a little bit of fridge restocking and then it should be a straight cruise to the other side of Rugby where I may have a little bit of a professional work lined up bringing me in some income. That'll be nice. So telly aerial down, it's working well so far, and a quick drift to the opposite bank for diesel with some fuel set added first to keep diesel bug at bay. Then the crimson tide of a few litres of fuel to top up the tank, which helps to keep any condensation away, water being the devil incarnate for engines. And off I go, with reminders of Rugby Town's claim to fame plastered over the bridge sides. Time for another montage. Well, I should get decent Wi-Fi here at least. I'm approaching Hillmorton Locks, a flight of three, unusually each organised as a pair of single locks. 
barely a soul about as I pull up to the first and set about working it. See what I mean about them being paired single locks? This boater coming up kindly left the next one ready for me, so it's straight in, work the paddles and down some more, minding the sill as ever. Gently onwards to the final lock and a treat as a volunteer lock keeper is waiting to do all the hard work. And he's actually a man I chat to on Twitter sometimes and he's keen to tell me about a special project that's underway here involving the little corner of land you can just see behind the fence at the end there. It was the original line of the old canal uh, and when they straightened the canal out they used it as a dock but over the years it's sort of been cut off and infilled. So what we're doing now, there's a side to call the Old Mortonians and we're now opening it up again, getting all the trees out. We found the base of the canal, the bed of the canal, which it still looks pretty good. You know, it's, it's still clay, so it's holding water. And eventually we're going to get all the trees out, return it as a dock and then put historic boats in there and hopefully turn it into a sort of a visitor attraction. It's costing us quite a bit. We are, we, we're sort of going for lottery grants stuff we raise from charity days, that sort of thing. And also the firm that's building houses all around here, they're gonna put a, I believe they're gonna put a road in for us while they're doing it, you know, that'll tick their uh, community spirit box sort of thing. So hopefully a couple of years time, we'll have a bit of a visitor attraction. There is a website, the Old Mortonians, you know, if you just Google Old Mortonians, it'll take you there. And there's probably is a donating uh, spot on there, although I haven't seen it myself. But if there isn't, I will suggest that we put one on. And good luck to them. I've now moored up for a quick look round. This is the main basin before that final lock. It's Coventry Way I'm going, though not to the city itself. It's a nice spot for a bit of gone goozling, and those with weary legs can rest a while here if needed. Not just humans enjoy taking it easy here, though, it seems. Remember, let sleeping ducks lie, else they'll pester you for food. I don't have a dog on board, sadly, so I play with other people's. This one determined that we should enjoy a game of stick wrestling. Half an hour later, the dog's still keen, but the stick all gooey, and I'm taking a peek at the little boatyard, half hidden up the side of the basin. It would be so peaceful here if it wasn't for the helicopter and the reversing lorry. So that's what happened to Little Chef. Must have retired to the cut. These are long-term moorers. Not sure the fire's needed today, really. The sun is splendidly warm. Just a few more bits to take in here, like these stones arranged in patterns, but no idea why. Some sort of picnic area? See that lock gate? One of only two on the entire network, apparently, that's metal and not wood. Its predecessor is, a little bizarrely, embedded into this hillock for posterity. And finally, I couldn't stop myself recording this noise. Have you ever heard a better burble? It's the pump taking water back up to the top of the locks. That's it for this one. I'm on my way again to the other side of rugby. <laughs>